Hello, my name is Jeff Bestis. I'm the Director of Partners and Think for Coma America. Today we're going to talk about work holding for a blade, the most common machine in every machine shop around the nation. One of the most common types of work holding used is the three jaw chuck. It gives you a range of sizes that you can chuck on both ID and OD, and it's very simple to install, and it's really not that expensive of a work holding option. If you go with a quick change, can change from one jaw to another, one set of jaws to another in about one minute. So setup is very quick with this type of system, so it's very flexible. If you haven't looked at face drivers lately, look at them again. Face drivers of 20, 30 years ago did not provide and allow for the clamping forces that you can have today. And we were worried then about turning the shaft or the part in the face driver. That may not be the case today, and it allows you to have access to the full OD of that shaft. Works very well. You can put a face driver in a three-jaw chuck, or you can use a specialized face driver holder in your machine if you basically do shaft work. So again, a very quick way of going from one type of part to another if you just put the face driver in a three-jaw chuck. The third type of work holding we want to talk about are column systems. Collets give you a much larger clamping surface than a three-jaw chuck does. So thus, it works very good on thin wall parts. It allows you to go, in this case, you're clamping on the OD of the part, or in this case, you're clamping on the ID of the part. It gives you high precision and repeatability, too, from one part to another based on the types. So, what we want to encourage you today is to think about the different opportunities and the different types of systems that you can use. We hope that this helped. If you need any more information, please go to akuma.com or partnersandthink.com.